I'll give blood, sweat, and tears to reach my goal I'm focused now, remain in complete control I know it's mind over matter, I ain't feeling no pain Go harder, go home, man, this isn't a game This is what I live for, the very reason I train So when they speak about the breaks, they can mention my name And I can say, I'm a ninja I'm a ninja I'm a ninja What's up YouTube, Chris Wachewski here, we're back this week, sorry for the delay, we didn't get the footage right away and things got a little busy with the holidays, anyways we're going to be talking about the Power Park event, so right here we have our top 3 finishers, we're going to dive right into one of their runs. So first up we have Brittany Hanks, now Power Park had a pretty cool first obstacle, you had to run into a gain speed off of the wall to go through these uh, little ring section here. And then the second obstacle uh, was also pretty fun, a nice little balancing one, kind of like the logs that their region had. Now moving through to this uh, third obstacle, uh, Brittany you can see here is struggling a little bit going to that beast ball. And then uh, with the nunchuck grip, uh, you can see she doesn't quite get a high enough grip and then just slips off the bottom, but awesome run. Next up we have Gianna Manners, and you can see she used her height to get pretty high up that warp wall on that initial run. And then again, um, use it, utilizing that long reach that she has right here, she's going to skip past that rope. And uh, a pretty smart move here, putting the feet on, because she knows there's going to be a lot of impact going through. Uh, although her swing dies a little bit, but uh, was able to get out there and reach out to it. And then uh, moving on to the third obstacle, again, you can see she makes the transfer uh, pretty good and um, gets to that nunchuck. Notice the initial high grip and kind of work, trying to work her way back up high so she can bring that hand in low to match. Uh, generating a swing because you know she has to get to the uh, cannonball next. And she's able to actually grab it, but then again, it just can't stay on. That move's proving pretty tough for the girls. So lastly, we have Barclay Stockett here. And you can see she gets a huge run up that warp wall. And then she's really pumping these moves here. She's getting a huge pullback, releasing on the backswing, and floating right through. Uh, really awesome moves by Barclay. And uh, she's going to finish that obstacle pretty quick. Uh, going on to that obstacle where the other two females have failed, she actually just kind of coasts this move. You can see that she's up at 90, staying locked off, and uh, moving pretty quickly. Now when she gets to the UFO, this is a pretty smart move here. She's going to grab the front and pull it to generate swing. So she's used the obstacles and now she's going to use that massive swing that she's got to skip right past it. Pretty awesome. But then going into this little sonic curve jump, she just can't quite get the height. But good enough for first. So jumping over to the guy's side of the action, our top three was Nathan, Tanner, and Karsten. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get Nathan's run, so we will not be able to share that with you. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into Tanner's. So Tanner gets a huge swing up here. He's all the way up by that shorter wall. And then, again, using those massive pumps to, uh, to get through this obstacle pretty quickly. You can see that huge back swing, reaching for the rope, skipping again. Now, going into the obstacle that Barclay just failed, he gets a bigger bounce, and he's able to use his reach to go right into that pipe slider. Speaking of sliders, this obstacle looked pretty gnarly. It was a PVC spinning death bridge that also teetered. Looks really, really difficult. I think I would have a hard time getting over and across that. Uh, definitely not an easy obstacle. Followed by this unique obstacle here where you had to actually turn the balance tank. I don't think I've ever seen that before in a comp where you're keeping the balance tank centered. And then obviously having the salmon ladder in for good measure. And then another unique obstacle running up the wall to go into the uh, jumping spider. A lot of creativity there. And then this obstacle just looks brutal. The floating doors, he just can't quite do it. But he got there fast enough to get second. So this brings us to our last runner, Karsten Williams. Now you can see here, he's going to be utilizing that long reach that he's got to coast through these obstacles. Uh, no problem at all, getting a pretty decent pump and then moving the rope out of his way. Now this is pretty cool here, he's going to use a similar technique to what Barclay used. He's going to build up a pretty big swing uh, with his kick, but instead of grabbing it before, he's going to grab it right here and transfer past it. And now again, this obstacle is just so unique, really tough looking. Uh, and then, of course, Carson on the Salmon Ladder. A lot of the Ninja Elite are just so consistent on the Salmon Ladder, so you expect them to do that every time. Uh, and then this is another cool obstacle that we don't always see. 
Uh, it's got a little element of rock climbing to it because you see he's going to get his feet on and it's going to require a pretty strong heel hook to uh, make it through because that's a pretty small ledge. And then these uh, were a unique, a unique way to do a balance obstacle. And then finally these, uh, these boards just seem really tough. You can see he falls off right away. That's just a really tough move to make. That was an awesome course that we saw by Power Park and an excellent job by Carson. So next up I'm going to cover uh, the New Era event. Unfortunately we did not get all the footage from this event either. So I'm just going to kind of recap and then show the uh, first place run for both the male and the female. So uh, in third place we have McKinley Pierce. This is the second comp that she's placed in. Uh, the second place finisher was Amelia Beckner. Uh, this is the first time she's placed, so this is the first time that she's qualified. And then we've had repeat offender Alyssa Beard. So let's go ahead and take a look at her run. So her run starts out really smooth. Drew's got these really steep steps, but Alyssa's able to get through them pretty quickly. Then moving on to the three ball rock wall, uh, it's got some pretty juggy holds, but uh, she's gone through pretty fast. Actually really fast, uh, to be honest, getting through those uh, as if she had been on it before. And then going into the jumping spider, always a tough one for any athlete. She's able to get up and in pretty quick. Uh, the next one here uh, is a really cool flying dismount thing that he brought back. And I have no idea what obstacle this is. I have not quite seen anything like it before on Ninja Warrior, but definitely very unique. Looks a little taxing on the grip. And then going on to this insane unstable bridge circuit, uh, you can see Alyssa, you know, fighting through. Uh, you got bridges that move every which way. It looks a little crazy, a little scary, but she can't hold on, but an awesome effort there. So now we have the guy side of the thing. And again, we couldn't get all the runs. Uh, Drew does have a live stream up on his Facebook page. So you can go over there and check out every run if you want to. Uh, but right now you can see Michael Torres got third place, John Alexis was able to go in there and get second place, and then we had our first place finisher, Noel Reyes. Uh, let's take a look at what he did. So they're all taking a quick hard approach going through the uh, first obstacle using the one step approach and then getting a massive swing on this slider making it look easy minus that little slip up. Uh, speaking of slip ups, he's going to have another little mistake here that's going to be costly in the end making it a little more difficult to him to finish on time. Again, I, I just had to show this obstacle a second time because it is just so unique. We've never seen anything like it before. Just really interesting one by Drew. And then this series of bridges is just ridiculously tough. You can see Noel struggling to keep that bridge stable as he moves his hands across. Any wrong hand placement could throw him off guard. And then uh, the probably the toughest part of this whole bridge series is now Noel's on the very last bridge. And he has no swing left, so you can see he's really tightening up his core and building up a swing really slowly. He's got to move only when the bridge moves. So he's taking a while to get this swing going, and you can see he almost falls back because he went a little too early. Now, again, another unique balance obstacle by Drew. You can see the thing that Noel is on is actually moving, so he's trying to stabilize himself on that before moving on to what appears to be some bowling balls. Uh, into a balance tank and then uh, looking at this next one Drew has a nice new salmon ladder I really like how this salmon ladder looks compared to his old one and then going through these uh, cannonballs in the wild showing off his strength you can see he's got crazy lock off going into the uh, that pokeball and then right here Noel's gonna be running out of time he's only got a few seconds left to push this across and make it up the warp wall so Noel is actually going to uh, finish that, but he's going to uh, time out. So um, Drew's going to help him up, and he's going to take a stab at the warp wall. Uh, There's a pretty crazy time limit that Drew did the entire course in about half of, uh, but just a really impressive overall course and a lot of cool stuff that we saw from New Air. So that does it for this event. We have more events being covered uh, later this week. We're going to be talking action athletics, plus we still have to recap the Thanksgiving action in New Jersey and Florida. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and look out for those videos coming later this week.